don't know what this one is. Uh, is that potatoes? That looks a bit like a vegetable, maybe like a red cabbage or something like that. So like little um, rocks, or kind like of from sort of like a a fish's sea? eye, like kind of cell in the body. Little Pumps glass more, beads, more organic like pasta would look like shells from that the looks sea. Like pasta. That looks like cheese. Um, what is this? It looks like um, a plastic bag and what's inside. Like a jellyfish washed up on the beach. Like on the water kind of um, probably. Isn't, isn't it a candle? Like look like, like a candle grass. and when no, it no, is no, the burned candle. Like a sheep or something having a haircut. Like a I'm not sure about that. Or or and on a table. It looks like thin wires. A sculpture of a like plant. A device that's Table. melting. Made in different shapes, so like seed, different mm -hmm. colours. It looks like yeah. glass and metal that together. Remind, again, that reminds me of the Yeah, F1 like little see. frozen oh, different creatures. Different types of rocks. That's clay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could be clay painted. It's like fold, folded metal. That looks like platinum. Handcrafts. And chain. Aluminium. Yeah. That's copper. Yeah. Hand, hand of of jewelry. Of copper um, it say. looks like jewellery making now. I think I'm starting to realise. Jewelry like or snake. something like and gold material. It looks like fabric curtain. It looks like wool. Um, yeah, some kind of woven fabric with fabric plastic. like carpet or something. Red yeah. rope. Yeah, I can tell. I think yeah, someone knitted these. Someone's curtain. Isn't it like a workshop for um, room. for like arts and stuff? This sort of looks like mosaic. For crafting like material. Let's take a closer look at the ancient craft of silversmithing and textiles design. Handcrafts are items that are constructed skillfully by hand using simple tools. The tools and techniques used haven't changed for centuries. Designers are making product after product, trying to break into the industry. Their designs come from their minds. Nobody tells them how to do things. This is much more than making money. It's a passion. Artists and makers fold all kinds of metals. Some of them are softer and others are really hard and need to be heated to make them more valuable and easier to work. All these materials are available and affordable. The raw material may be natural or synthetic using products of the chemical industry. Different pieces of materials have to go through many processes to turn them all into something that can be used. It's important to do it accurately. It's a long and slow process it takes time to finish the product, to polish away any imperfections. Whatever the choice of materials to work with and shape into objects, each piece is always very unique. Handcrafts involve the creation of a wide range of objects, including clothing, jewellery, and different types of paper crafts. Paper crafts can also be used to create interesting designs for earrings, necklaces, bracelets, or rings. The items produced are both appealing to the eye and practical. Products come with all different shapes. In the decorative arts, nothing is the same twice. The next stage of the process is creating a texture for decoration using a combination of different patterns. Textile designers are involved with the production of these designs, which are used sometimes repetitively in clothing and interior decor items. Raw fibres of wool, flax, cotton or other materials are used for the production. Textiles are formed by weaving, knitting, crocheting, knotting or felting. When the work is done, manufactured goods are ready to be displayed for public viewing. For the artists, it's a great way to show their talents and to get into the jewellery, fashion and textiles industry.